Hello, hello, and welcome to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. I am also one of the trainers with Notary Educators, which includes myself, Kimmy Nunnally, Angela Johnson, and Alexis Franklin. We each own our own very successful notary businesses and teach notaries in all 50 states to be great and grow their own business. We will discuss general notary work, apostilles, ink fingerprinting, and the duties of a notary signing agent, and much, much more. For all of your notary needs, please visit notaryeducatorsllc.com. We hope you enjoy the show, and we wish you much success. Hello, hello. This is Kimmy along with Angela from AJ Mobile Notary Services. And hey, welcome everybody. to Notary Chit Chat. <laughs> We're just hanging out today, guys. Nothing special. This was not um, planned. It's not replacing anything. This is just an extra. We decided to come on tonight. Um, welcome to everyone joining us. We were not able to get on Facebook tonight. Unfortunately, there was a technical difficulty. So welcome, welcome to all of those who are here. If you have any questions, you can feel free to drop them in the chat. We can discuss what happened with your notary week, what happened, what did not happen, what would you like to happen for next week. So we'll wait a few minutes um, to see if someone, if we have more people, those that will join us on the replay, welcome. Let me let Angela say hey. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome to our uh, notary drop-in chit-chat. Yes. Hey, Shannon B. What's going on, girl? We hope everyone had an amazing Friday. Yes. Happy Notary Friday. (laughs) So, like I said, we were just hopping off for a few minutes. If there's anything you guys want to talk about, we can. Um, I had a couple things I was going to discuss. I put out a couple videos this week. Um, One of them was about the proctor. Hey, Rise. Rise Porter, Shannon B is with us also, and everyone else who we cannot see who's not in the chat. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Um, yeah, so I put out a video this week about hey Tanya, happy Friday, girl. We um the video was about being a proctor. So I didn't realize that many notaries did not know about serving as a proctor. So I'm going to talk about that really quick because one of the questions we had in our Facebook group, if you are not a member, is Notary Educators completely free. Um, Someone said, well, they only make $12 an hour being a proctor. And they said, well, how is Kimmy making $75 an hour serving as a proctor? So I thought I would address that right quick. So anything we ever tell you is something that we're actually doing in our business. Hey, Alice, Welcome. Tara, welcome, welcome. Charlotte, North Carolina is with us. Yes, I was talking about uh, my Proctor video for those of you who are just joining us. So I put in that video that I made $75 per hour as a Proctor. And I watched this lady take a test, a real estate agent. And um, they asked me a few questions. So I'm going to go over that with you right quick. So how did I come up with the fee? Let's talk about that. Someone else in our Facebook group, which is Notary Educators, said, well, I only make $12 being a proctor, $12 per hour. And I was thinking to myself, well, that's pretty low. (laughs) And if that's what you want to work for, that's your business plan, right? No problem with that. But my business plan does not allow me to work $12 per hour doing anything. I've not taken an assignment. The The least assignment I've taken, it would be like a witness job for $25. And again, that's only for like 15 minutes of my time, maybe. But I don't accept anything for $12 an hour. I'm not doing any assignment for that dollar amount. It's Mm -hmm. not worth it to me. Now, if that's part of your business plan, again, everyone gets the right to choose what they're going to do with their business, right? Welcome, everybody who's joining us. I'm talking about my Proctor video. So I did charge that particular lady $75 per hour because of the distance that I had to travel. And if you watch the video, if you have not, I recommend you do. But if you've watched it, you realize that um, when I first got there, I talked about that maybe wasn't even a good business decision at $75 an hour because if I was with her for two hours watching her take the test. Hey, everybody. Hey, Charmaine. Hey, Diane. Yeah, if I had only watched her for two hours taking the test and I'd factor in almost an hour travel time each way, 
that would have had me making like $37.50 per hour. So as I talked about in the video, I said, ooh, $37.50, that sounds like really good money, but not when you're accustomed to maybe charging $50 for a one-page document, right? So in the grand scheme of things, I ended up doing three hours worth of work for her because it actually took two and a half hours. And I priced the job from the beginning with the client knowing that if it took anything over one minute past the two hour mark, she was still going to pay that next $75. So it took her two and a half hours to test. And I ended up charging her $225. And again, when I factored in the three hours time, two and a half, whatever, and then almost 45 minutes each way, I ended up making over $50 an hour. So mm -hmm. to me, that was some good money. <laughs> so my point being is whatever you charge for your business is your business. Now, there are proctor companies out there that you can work for. Because I, in fact, Google one and apply for one once I found out about the position. But they never called me back, actually. So my proctor jobs that I've received have been through my Google page. So I put that on Google and people call you and they pay you privately. So her other option, I believe, was to drive somewhere. So in my client's case, it was well worth it for her to pay me the $75 per hour versus trying to drive wherever she would have to um, wherever she would have to drive to to have the test completed. Mm -hmm. So um, I had a couple other questions and I'll let Angela chime in. Um, another question I had about proctor work was, well, if I was sitting on the outside of the establishment, we went to a co coffee shop is where we met. And hey, welcome everybody, Michelle, Jaletta, Serena. Hi, Danielle's with us. Hey, Diane. Hey, Danielle. Hey, everybody. So, um, so we met at a coffee shop, and I sat and watched her log on. There was no one else in the facility with us. Um, I sat outside after she got started. I sat there maybe about fifteen minutes and played on my computer. Then I decided I want to go outside. I actually went live that night. Hey, Marcel. What's going on, Michelle? Patrice? Patricia? Jermaine. Hey, welcome, welcome. Jermaine, yes. Yeah. So I went and sat outside. So people said, well, Kim, how did you watch her when she was on the inside? You were on the outside. Well, I was sitting kitty corner to where she was. I had a direct view. And as, as I always say in anything I ever tell you guys and Angela as well as Alexis, we always say what we do in our business. So my personal business is called None Better Mobile Notary. So what Kimberly does and what Angela does may be two different things. What you may do in your business. So for me and my business, I felt completely comfortable sitting there watching her from the outside and not sitting side by side with her. I did another proctor job. And with that one, I actually sat I watched her log on. It was right in the middle of COVID. So I was not sitting in no room with her on the other side of her during the middle of COVID watching her take no test. So I watched her log on and then I went outside. When she completed it, I came back in and I um, signed off on the test. So there are no notarial stamps when you're serving as a proctor. Neither job that I've had, um, actually three. You do not stamp anything. You actually just type in your name, the address of your facility. So you have to have a physical facility address. It cannot be a P.O. box. So I used my home address or we could have used the address of the place where we were. Because at that time, as I stated to her, I'm mobile. So my office becomes wherever I am physically located. But in this case, I used my home address. So... Again, a lot of things when it comes to your business is just that your business. So for another proctor, they may say, well, I have to sit there physically next to her and watch her type in everything. If that's what you want to do, then you can do that. But as far as me and my business, I don't feel that was necessary. And that's not what I did. So that was where the major questions I had about pricing. How did I come up with that charge? For me, it was a travel fee. It's not a notarial act. There's nothing to stamp. But they ask notaries to do it because we're trustworthy. We're talking about being a proctor tonight. Well, that's not what the topic is. I'm just telling a story that happened based on my video. I just put out about being a proctor. There were a few questions in our Facebook group, which is notary educators. So I wanted to clear up a few things. So as far as the pricing, I set my own price. The client was in agreement. I based it on how far I had to travel, how long I would be there. 
I did charge $75 per hour. I watched her for two and a half. I rounded up to three. She was in agreement with that. Just to recap, I did not sit side by side with her. If you choose to do that, that's your business plan, your business option. So that's all I got on proctoring. Did you guys have any questions, Angela? What's your thoughts? I'm with you. You know, I've um, done a couple of proctor jobs. And of course, I charged a little bit more than Kim. <laughs> But I wouldn't do it for twelve dollars because if you think about your hourly, what you get hourly as a notary when you add up documents, if you can go to somebody and notarize a document uh, and charge twenty five dollars, and you're done in fifteen minutes, you're still getting paid more than twelve dollars an hour, you know, for that. And so, proctor thing, like you mentioned, is not a notarial act or service. And so, somebody, it's a service where someone really needs you you know, to watch them, so to speak, or to make sure that they're going by the uh, arrangements or going by the instructions from whatever company or facility that wants them to have that proctor. And so that's worth money. That's worth something. I, I remember like probably 10, 12 years ago, I got paid like $50 to proctor something. So $75 is still not that bad, you know, 12 years from then, if you think about it. So I thought, again, like I said, $75 per hour for myself. That was great. It was reasonable. Um, had she been a little bit closer, I would have really felt good about it. But like I said, for me, I try not to travel like more than 30 minutes away. So one of the questions in the chat is, how do you find proctor jobs? So, Diane, I put it right on my Google page. That's how everyone's found me. I did attempt to sign up with the company, as I stated earlier in the video. I mean, in this particular video here, but they never called me. So I put proctor services available. People will reach out. And now, both of my clients, um, I had a repeat, they've all been real estate agents. But this is a great service that you can offer if you're near a college, because a lot of college students have to take tests, as well as doctors sometimes may have to take tests. So just depending on where you're located, if you're in a major city near a college or something like that. This is something you definitely want to think about adding. There's no special certification. You do not even have to be a notary, but we're called upon, guys, to use our notary title in so many different ways. That's what I try to tell people. It's more than mm -hmm. one way to make money in this industry. And we prove and show that to you every single day, every mm -hmm. single day. Uh, let's see. Anything else you want to add, Angela? Then we'll take a few questions. Anybody mm -hmm. want to jump on stage and tell us how your week went? If you had any wins, I'll put the link in the chat right quick. Asia Only has a question. Is... Okay, hold on one second. Only question is you have to, I mean, only requirement is you have to show your, show face. your face. Yep, so I'll put that in the chat. If anybody want to jump up and tell us about your week or anything that exciting happened. Okay, Angela. Asia has a question. Um, for loan signing, is each stamp a line in the journal correct? Is each, is stamp, each a line? stamp a line in the journal correct? Do you mean, do you need to record each notorial stamp or act in your journal? That's going to be state specific. So like I'm in the state of Georgia, we don't even have to keep a journal, right? Period. So if I keep one, it's a plus. However, you guys know at Notary Educators, we are pros around here, right? So I would never stamp a paper without a journal, ever, mm -hmm. okay? I'm always going to have a journal. I'm always going to have my basic insurance, right? Notorial insurance. However, if you're in the state of California, now that's a little bit different. You have to record each individual act. I think right. they just came up something where you might be able to bypass some of that. So, example, if you have a long signing package with 15 giraffe okay. then you mm -hmm. have to record each one individually if it's 15 acknowledgements you have to record mm -hmm. each one now i think they just came up with something where they may not have to do that so don't quote me on that because before we teach we always pull your most current um laws and rules and regulations or whatever per state but you, you were right often. though you have to check your state to see what they require yes and you always keep a journal like michelle knits for you was saying you always keep a journal Always. I don't care what state. If your state mm -hmm. doesn't require it, most states do not. Most states do not. So Diane said, can you charge, can you please do an in-person class and charge $25 per person? In-person class? What kind of class are you looking for, Diane? Are you in Georgia? 
also. And then what kind of class are you referring to? Because when we teach, we're not just telling you about the business like we do here. We're actually teaching you. So mm-hmm. what kind of class would you be referring to for that price point? Just let me know. Serena says, I haven't had a signing yet. I would like to help the realtor. What is the best way to go about that? They're going to find you on Google My Business. If you know a realtor, you can definitely reach out. Because like I gave my client cards. I said, hey, if any of your realtor buddies need a proctor, let me know. Because that's a test. I don't know if it's an annual test or how often they have to do it. But just say she knew other realtors. She could just pass my cards out for mm-hmm. me, though, and let them know, hey, I know somebody who could proctor your exam for you. Mm-hmm. Serena says she's in Alabama. Yeah, just reach out on um, your Google page. That sounds like a smaller city, too. Is it smaller than Madison, Serena? Madison, Alabama is small. I've actually been I'm to Madison, so Alabama. Too. I'll have you. So she mm-hmm. may not get the same request that they would receive over in, you know, um, Birmingham, you know, a larger city. Okay. Angela, let's see. Who's next? Uh, S. So, so, hey, ladies. So, so, Serena says, uh, do I sign into Google My Business? And if you're talking about to put the proctor um, information in there, yes, you have to do that through Google. Oh, let's go back. Oh, we second. skipped to also. Skip, yeah. Uh-huh. S says, hi, ladies, since you can't use a P.O. box for the LLC, what address did you use for your notary business? So I use my actual home address um, so for my business. And for, for my for my LLC, I actually have a registered agent. I'll let Angela talk to you about that right quick. <laughs> and my registered agent receives all of my mail for my business, which Angela says it shouldn't be that much, but I don't know what it is because since I've started my LLCs, I've used a register agent. It's just simpler for me. It's one of those things that I consider a luxury. Um, I may not do it next year, but I did do it the last few years. Angela, you want to talk about that a little bit? Uh, Yeah, I use my home address also, and I'm my own registered agent. Uh, Actually, this year, my sister, so my sister has a business. She lives in Jonesboro. I'm her registered agent. She's my registered agent. My brother has an LLC in South Georgia. I'm his registered agent. I got one piece of mail for him in the past four years. They really, you really don't get a lot of mail. <laughs> you really don't get a lot of mail because you got an LLC. Don't, really, the purpose, the main purpose of a registered agent is if someone wants to sue you instead of coming directly to you, they will go through your registered agent and your registered agent would relay the lawsuit to you. That's really the main reason for having them register agent to get your legal mail or your mail from other business that has to do with legal really that's the only reason they would be getting mail or if the secretary of state uh would send their update requesting to you pay your llc if you didn't pay it your register agent would get that but other than that kim's just throwing away money y'all so I'll probably do my own starting um, 2023 because Angela's giving me such a hard time about because, it. Kim, how, many, how much mail has your registered agent given you in the past two years? None. Because <laughs> he didn't get any. Well, and don't forget now, a couple of those th- um, LLCs, it was the first year. So I did. Yes, I did. I paid 119 I think, last year. But I'm working on that. I'm going to simplify and clean up and get my money back for 2023. So I'm going to work on that. That's one of my my things for 2023. All right. Jalada Mathis says, hello, just asking, Kimmy, would you be a courier for apostille documents in Georgia for notaries outside of Georgia? Just asking. For outside of Georgia? Would I be a courier no. for outside of Georgia? They mean if they're outside of Georgia, would you be a facilitator for Georgia apostilles? I sure would. Look me up. <laughs> I sure would. None better notary. None better mobile notary is my personal business. I will be your courier in the state of Georgia. Yes, that's for anybody watching the replay too. And AJ I mobile will notary be a courier Alexis, for you. Mobile notary services by Alexis and AJ mobile notary. Well, actually, all three uh, of us. Yeah. Because Kim and I are really close to the Secretary of State and the clerk's office. Alexis is like 35 minutes, so she'll oh, definitely do it too. She's really, yeah, yeah she's I can speak for her. She didn't join she's us this close. evening. Um, but Alexis is working. She sent a text. Yeah. She's working. Oh, cool. Okay, because I didn't mm-hmm. get it. 
So yeah, but Alexis will be a courier also. So we all will add, we will be a courier. Yes, we will. <laughs> Thanks for looking but, out for us too. So now so, Serena, um, uh, go ahead, Kim. No, no, you go ahead, Angela. Mm -hmm. do, so, do I sign into Google My Business? If you're talking about to put it, Proctor Services, yes. Yeah, you put that on Google My Business. Shannon B says, a couple called me and asked for me to meet them at a hospital to observe their appointments and notarize a doctor's statement was estimated to be three hours, quoted $50 an hour, and they never called back. That was a that deal, wasn't your Shannon client. B. And that was a deal. That was a deal, $50 yeah. an hour. Yeah, because so so again, that, anything dealing with hospitals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was a real deal. Yeah, anything dealing with hospitals and stuff like that, I probably would have started more at that seventy-five dollar mark because you just don't know how long it's gonna take. Mm -hmm. You know, you just don't. And if they don't want to pay you, that's not your client. And actually, it was funny, guys, with my proctor job. <laughs> I tried to get out of it. I kept telling her. I said, "Well, let me she see. Sure can I did. get you another notary that may be a little bit closer?" And she was like, no, I don't mind paying you. Another question I had about the proctor job was, do I collect the money up front? I did not collect it up front. That is one of those jobs. So you may want to at least collect your travel fee up front in case something doesn't go right. You know, maybe know. we what, get what, there. What that, what's, up, what's up with you with that? Collecting the travel fee? No, collecting your money up front with, for the proctor. I just did not. I just didn't. Uh, you know what? I'm going to tell you guys, and I've said this before on many occasions. I don't like a lot of con confrontation and controversy in my business. So just for example, guys, let's say I got there and something happened where I could not do it for whatever reason, right? Let's just say, let's just say. And she was the kind of person that want to bug out about it or whatever. Oh, because you, you never know what kind of client you're going to mm -hmm. get. You just never mm -hmm. do, right? Mm -hmm. I'm the kind of person where, you know what? I'm going to take a loss on that because I don't want I don't want the drama. I don't want her leaving me a negative review. Right. I don't want to be arguing with her. I'm not going to go back and forth with her. Um, if she didn't want to pay me for whatever reason, if she didn't feel inclined that I drove out there to give me a travel fee. Mm -hmm. And again, this is, this is just one of those things where as I continue to do certain um, services mm -hmm. I may go ahead up front. You got to pay me fifty dollars before I leave my house. Okay, fine. Right. Oh, I don't know. I don't mean up front. I don't mean up front like that. Like pay before you leave home. I mean when you get there. Like when you get oh, to no, the proper services. Yeah. Well, we didn't know how long it was going to take. So oh, then, then I would have had the runner car for $75. That's true. That's true. That's and true. then every hour run it for another $75. You know what That's I'm saying? True. So yeah, I didn't think about some that. Stuff, yeah, some stuff, I'm not going to say, guys, I'm that big time in my notary business where I don't need my money because I do. I go to work. I go out there and stamp documents just like you. However, again, for me, a lot of stuff, I make a business decision. It may not seem the most practical to most people, but I like peace in my life. When I go to bed at night, I can use my home address because I ain't worried about somebody rolling up thinking I took advantage of them or right. whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just I just run my business in such a way I want peace. And every dollar does not equate to peace. It just doesn't. Right. I don't even want every student's money. <laughs> we you can't pay me enough people. to deal with certain people. Yeah, you right. know what I'm saying? So even in my with my with my clients in my notary business. I don't want everybody's dollar. Even if I drive out there and it costs me money sometimes, you know, I'd rather have peace in my life and peace is priceless. So that's just how I roll. Mm -hmm. I've been, I've done okay with that business model and I will continue to, you know, I just, yeah. I just need peace. Yeah. I'm not going to fight Serena and argue about I'll it. Speak. Yeah. I'm not going to fight and argue about it either. Yeah. I, I just, mm -mm. No, I cannot. Uh, Serena, you want to come on stage? You sure can. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of why you know I understand what you're saying, Angela. Yeah, because I didn't think about I didn't think about you're right. You didn't know how long the proctor job would last, so she couldn't pay you up front. Yeah, and then yeah. I mean, even if I had a like even my other jobs, if I get there and I price even my regular notarial work though, I don't collect the money until I finish with the service. I don't either. You know, I only mean, I don't. The only money I collect up front is apostille money. I don't collect no notary money until I'm finished with the notary job. I don't get a, you know, pay me a fee before I leave my house or travel. I don't do that either. 
So you're a little garbly, Angela. I don't know if it's me or not. Am I garbly, you guys? But I did but I did hear you say um when it comes to your apostille, you collect that money up front. That's the only money. I also I collect, collect my front. apostille money up front. I do collect that up front also. Um sometimes I will do half though, depending on the client's yep. comfort level. So yep. sometimes I can tell once I tell them that high dollar amount. You can see in their face, they're like, wow, I'm about to pay you two or three hundred dollars. Right. And you've not delivered anything. So in right. that case, I'll be like, you can pay half now, half when you pick up your um your documents. And yep. I'll let them know again up front that um, you know, I need to cover at least my FedEx shipping and my time for processing. So just say if they paid one fifty, they did. They say, you know what? I changed my mind. I don't need the document anymore. That's right. fine. But I already made my money. So, right. Mm -hmm. all right. Uh, Serena says she's next to Huntsville. Okay. Okay. She says she's okay. in Madison. It's not that small. Maybe I'm getting it mixed up with somebody. Madison Monday. Okay. So if you're next to Huntsville, you might be able to have a college there. I'm not sure about Huntsville. I don't know the area very well, but there may be a college near you. Or something that you may be able to get. Um, Huntsville is big. Yeah, so you should you should be able to do all real, do okay overall in your notary business. Yeah. Um, Diane says yes, Latonia, and I want to learn everything about what and how to use my notary stamp. So, um, you don't have to pay us twenty five dollars for that, Diane. You can set up an intake call with us for free. Um, if that's what you were referring to paying $25 for to learn what you can do with your stamp, you don't have to pay us for that. You just go to Notary Educators and fill out a contact us card and we will call you back and we'll go over what you can do with your stamp, what training looks like for you. Because yeah. sounds to me, if you're not too sure about what you can even do with the stamp, you may need some training. So we'll go over a training plan for you, what that looks like. Um, and you don't have to pay us for that. Mm -hmm. So we don't have any products or services like um $25 per minute to talk to us or half hour mm -mm. is $30 or we have not implemented anything like that. We do what's called an intake call if you're watching this right now or on the replay. Mm -hmm. And um you can fill out a contact us card at Notary Educators and we will give you a call back again to see what it is you need for your business, what it is you need for training. And right. that's a free call. Angela Michelle Nitz for you says she's been a notary long signing agent for six years and just LLC this year. She's also a real estate agent. She says, I need to get out and market like I'm supposed to. Monday's a new weekend, uh, end of month. Let's see what happens. Yeah, Michelle, just get out there and start doing it. We got a uh, our live, we couldn't do it on Kim's YouTube because we had some issues. But watch Monday night's live. We had a lot of good things about marketing and how to market your business. Can someone let me know if Angela sounds a little garbly on your end, please, in the chat? Just let that me know if you garbly? can hear Angela clearly. Or is it just me on my end? Let me know. Um, so, yes, yeah, just like Angela said, just start marketing. You just got to get out there and make it happen. Nobody can market for you. Hey, Taisha. Mm -hmm. No one can market for you. No one. And it's going to be, you have to July, be patient. Yes. You're welcome. You, you have to be patient, and it just takes time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes time Cynthia. when you're marketing. Mm -hmm. Hey, Cynthia, what's going on? Hey, Frank from Lower Alabama. Frank from Lower Alabama. <laughs> you made it. You made it. Shannon, they acted like I was charging a lot. Yeah, Shannon, and that just wasn't your client, you know? Mm -hmm. And again, sometimes all money is not good money. If you had gotten there and they did not really want to pay you the $50 and you had mm -hmm. to deal with attitude for three hours, was it really worth it? Mm -hmm. I'd rather them just not ex not want me as their notary mm -hmm. and they move on with their life. And I move on from my client who's actually appreciative, the one that wants to leave you a tip because mm -hmm. they're so excited they couldn't find anyone else and they valued your time. Mm -hmm. And that's 90% of my clients, 90, yeah. 95, I'll, I'll say 95. 
percent of my clients are appreciative of the service that I provided. Mm -hmm. They're appreciative that I answered the phone. Mm -hmm. If you guys read my reviews and I've left a few of them over social media, but check out my reviews. I mean, I go above and beyond and really I'm just providing excellent service. I, um, I had two, two clients. One was a new client called me, found me on Google, wanted me to meet him and his wife at the assisted living home she lived in. The other one was a client. I've done like three or four jobs for him. And uh, I was I couldn't make it to him when he wanted to. So I put it in the Facebook group. Is anybody available? And he called me back and he said, I don't want anybody else. He said, you're my notary. I'll, I'll reschedule and we'll just do it another time. And so the new person I got a couple of days ago, he was like spent five minutes, literally, you guys, saying, Angela, he's like, I looked on Google and I looked through all of the Google um notaries in liberal and she, they were like you had the best one and I, I said there's no way that all of these people are not saying all these nice things about how professional you were and how you took care of them and you they really appreciate it he said so i decided to call you and he was like you're everything they said that they said you were so people read the review he said he read a lot of my reviews and so that's why he called me because he said i know you're going to give me great service Yes. And people do read reviews, guys. The number one thing I will always tell anybody want, that wants to grow their business, the number one thing is ask for reviews. It will shake the Google algorithm. One, clients do read reviews. I don't buy anything. It could be mm -hmm. a pack of chewing gum without reading the reviews. I'm mm -hmm. like, did it, what did people say? Did the sugar last long for them or did it not? <laughs> Okay, I don't buy nothing without reading a review. Okay? And so and you like, guys, I don't, they don't. Right. And you guys, I know some of you guys say, well, I asked for a review. They didn't give me one. Everybody, they'll say they're going to give you a review. Everybody does not give you a review. If everybody gave me a review, I'll probably have about five or 600 reviews. But everybody does not right. give, give you a review. So that's just the nature of it. And then there's nothing we can do about it. And that's okay. They don't yeah. have to. You know, if I get one out of 10, that's still going to eventually <laughs> add mm -hmm. up. I didn't mm -hmm. start out with over 200 mm -hmm. reviews, but I ask everybody. And like Angela says, some will, some won't. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. Michelle says, use some pepper spray. <laughs> She's a if they don't want to pay, <laughs> if they don't want to pay or they don't want to act right, get the pepper spray on them. Right. I'm not going to recommend violence over here, guys. No, right, right, right. <laughs> and also, we, also, you, mm -hmm. you guys, regarding what Shannon said, like they act like she was charging too much. Kim does. I do. I get, I can't even count how many this week. I'm going to, people that called me, notary, tell them how much. Oh, I'll call you back or oh, okay, let me check somewhere else. That happens all the time. So it's not mm -hmm. unusual for you to tell people your price. And they say, one lady wanted me to come to her. It would have taken me 20 minutes to get to her. And I was only charging her $40. And she's like, oh, uh, I'm going to try some. She said, I'll try to call you back or we'll, I'll see. I said, okay, thank you. And I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to say it again. I already said it two times or three times tonight. If that person is bugging with you about the price before you even get there, they're going to be straight up drama. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. If I even get somebody on the phone and they say, all right, you can come on. You can come on. <laughs> By the attitude, I'll say, you know what? Why don't you check with your bank? I do more like specialty work. After hours, if your bank is closed, if it's something they won't do, if they give me too much pushback, I don't want their business. Mm -mm. I do not. I promise you. And I am not sitting in the bed at night like counting money. But I want peace. I want peace in my life. My blood pressure, when I went to the doctor last week, was 107 over 74 or 64. I was like, what? That's really good, okay? And I'm going to have low blood pressure. I'm not letting nobody raise <laughs> my blood pressure where I have to take more medication or do. No, no, it's not worth it. It's not. So worth if you it. get a client, I'm going to tell you this again for the fifth time tonight. If they get on your nerves before you get there, they're going to be a pain in the you know what when you get there face to face. Because all the time they're going to be thinking, oh, she charged me $50. It's only $2. Oh, mm -hmm. she charged me $75. 
it's only two dollars i know what the state says my friend is a notary you don't want to be bothered with that person right. guys all I money is say, not good money i just say okay <laughs> So Cynthia says, so I have a question. How did you all decide before you left your nine to five? Well, I was uh, taking a leave of absence, really. I wasn't planning on going back anyway. So I had kind of already quit. But when I started the notary business, I had already quit. So I, it wasn't a factor for me to decide if the notary business was going to be enough for me and should I quit because I had already long before the notary business side of it came up, I had already decided in my mind that I wasn't going to be working corporate America. And in my case, I was working at the hospital was called PRN, which is as needed because I have been caring for my sister, my mom and my father for the last three, four years. So when I left work, I actually quit back in January. When I quit officially, I was only working um, so many hours and my notary business had grown. So I had, when I really, really focused on my business, I had said I need to make at least enough to cover what I was making at the job. And I kept saying, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit. And I was nervous like everybody else. I was like, I'm not quitting my job to and do notary And I kept saying, she, work, I, right? I didn't never think she was gonna quit that job. I, I kept telling Angela, I said, I'm quitting, girl. I'm quitting. I said, I said, I'm leaving this job. And I would keep talking about it, but I was afraid. Like everyone else, I was afraid. And full disclosure, so my husband does work. Um, so I had a little cushion there. Um, so I don't tell people just to go and quit their job. No mm -hmm. more than I wanted to quit my job. And I had another income coming in the house. Mm -hmm. um, but I just, I just like that cushion, right? But anyway, I started making more in my notary business and it kept growing. And I kept saying to myself, why am I driving to work? And I was missing alerts. I hear a lot of notaries say that in YouTube, that they realized when they really wanted to go full time is when they kept noticing how much money they were actually missing from alerts. So I was missing money from alerts. I was missing money. I was sitting, I was sitting at work sending Angela jobs. I was just about to tell that story one day. <laughs> but this is also when the loan, when the loan signing was hot. And it was a lot of loan modifications. And Kim, that particular weekend or day, Kim had, I had my business and I was busy. Kim sitting her business. I was like going all day. And I guess Kim started adding that money that day. And we talked and she was like, oh my goodness, how much, how many, uh, she didn't ask me how much money I made. And I tell her, cause it don't matter to me. And I was telling her what the different jobs were. And it was a lot. I mean, I had, I think, Besides what I had made one day, I think it was like two hundred dollars from you, and I had made probably about two hundred that day. And that don't I don't do that every day, you guys. So don't think that's where it happens every day. But that particular day, I never forget it. Uh, I think it may have been. I can't remember what day it was, but anyway, I know that. I Kim, remember. I remember it was a Sunday because I was. Oh, I, I couldn't remember if it was a Saturday or Sunday. It was a Sunday, and I love my job at the hospital, he guys. Loves so I worked job. in a department called Family. I love my job. I worked in a department called Family Experience, and it, it was just that. I made sure people had a good experience at the hospital. So everybody will always say, girl, that job is so perfect for you. I loved my job. But I had to drive 45 minutes each way to Atlanta, and I was only making, I was making, I was making a little over $20 an hour. I was making a little over 20, but by the time I sat there all day, that particular day, drove yeah. home, yeah. I was so pissed. I, I, was, 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 mad, <laughs> I was mad, y'all. I was mad. I gave Angela like five jobs that day. I gave her like four or five jobs. And I was and most so of them were like long. Most of them were like long mods. And so that was making the money that day. They were some big ticket items. And I was sitting there, I was loving it. But like I said, after that day, I really got to thinking. I said, I, I gave Angela all my work today. We had a whole conversation had, about that. <laughs> yes. And that was not the first day I did that. Angela is my backup, you guys know, because we live close to each other. So whenever I could not work, I would give my work to Angela. So that was not the first time that I gave all my work to her. So and I was the, sitting at work. That's actually the reason why I got into the notary business. 
because I was just really, we talked long, we Kim was doing this business and we would talk every day and I wasn't doing it. And so, um, you know, we still talk about the notary business because I knew stuff, you know, and she knew stuff and we would just talk to each other about it. And then when she got really busy, she's like, Andrew, can you go do this job for me? And I was like, sure. Cause she's like, you don't want to do this. I'm like, no girl, I want to do that. I'm chilling right now. I'm taking some time off. And after about a couple of weeks, I said, I need to open up my business, add this to my business. Cause I used to be a virtual assistant. So I already had an LLC and all that stuff. I'm like, I need to get my business going. And so that's how I started because Kim, I would back up for her and Jeff. And it was like, I may as well do it myself. And I started doing it, got me a Google page, paid for the ads. And that was the rest. The rest was history. Yes. And she was a blessing for me at the time when she did not want to do the business because Angela had her law background and being a notary. So a lot of times it was things that as I was continuing to develop, because I was what we call a, a notary educator, a work notary. I was like, oh, I'm a notary, I'm a notary, but I was a work <laughs> notary. And what does that mean? They would just stick papers in front of me. So I didn't mm -hmm. really know the business. Um, so we get that all day long. People say I'm a notary. I'm a notary at work, right. but you're a work notary. You're not. You're not a real notary yet, because right. <laughs> they just usually put papers in front of you. You don't know mm -hmm. why you're stamping. You don't know if you right. gave an oath. You you've not done any of that. So right. so it's a difference from being a work notary and then doing it as a business full time mm -hmm. like I do now. So I would call Angela and I would say, Hey girl, what about this? What about this notarization ABC? And it didn't make sense, or either I just wasn't clear because of her law background. She was able to say, Look, Kim, that's not your business, or whatever. You need to stamp that paper, or don't stamp it because you don't feel comfortable, whatever. But she brought a different um, skill set to my notary business that I did not have. So we work very well together. We've been working together ever since. And like Angela will tell you guys, I motivated her to not only start her business, but to do her long signing business. That's and to did. now for her to do apostille work. You want to talk about that for a minute and we'll answer a few more questions. Yeah. Kim, Kim, she's a, she, yeah, she did. Cause I was like, I just wasn't interested. In, and I I was like, Kim, I already know how to do that. Why well, I got to go take a class with NNA and da, 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 da. I'm like, I don't want to do all that. But anyway, I did it for the, business you know aspect of the business and so the rest is history i actually long signing is okay but general notary work is still my baby and so it's interesting some of you have heard the story about apostille how we both got started and we didn't even know that both of us was actually researching it had been doing it for months and this is something that you know both of us started doing but it's not like a week or two and we was doing it we both had been seeing researching this for months i had notes and everything notebook full of notes and so what happened was um we got got an apostille and basically we got it done together and we just split the fee and so after that happened we was like uh we need to try to finish this out and add, add it to our business and so i'm used to figuring things out and because of my law background and knowing how to put things together research and so i'm like kim i got this i said i got this so I just started doing it and doing it and people started bringing me apostilles and I did it. I figured it out. I would make some phone calls, lots of phone calls. And here I am today. You know, we have a new apostille class uh, that I think is amazing. And uh, I really love teaching it because I think we have an element of it where we make it simple, where when we teach it that you don't leave just totally confused, like I still don't know what I'm doing, but you're able to, and I tell people, start from your state because actually most of the apostilles you get are going to be from your state, but you are going to have those little uh, innuendos or ones that have a little trick to them where, where do I send this because I can't send it here. And I have made one or two mistakes in apostille, uh, but I learned from those mistakes. But uh, I wanted to say that it's a great service to add to your notary business because one apostille will pay for you know, you're training and you have something left over. And so uh, apostille agent is really, um, even though the, it pays a lot, it pays a lot because some people are like, well, how do you get that much money for doing an apostille? These are important documents that people need overseas to take care of important business, whether it's their kids' school, whether it's uh, getting money from their bank accounts, whether uh, they want to have their kids' birth certificate uh, to be dual citizens or somebody teaching over there and they have to have the documents a certain way. So 
you can charge because it is a very important service. So anyway, uh, I appreciate all the students that have come through our class and um, took our apostille training. And um, so don't let this not be a part of your service. It's really, as Kim say, not that complicated once you get all the elements and put them together. Uh, it, <clears throat> excuse me, it's easy to understand once you get the elements. It just takes time and patience to do it. And even after you take the class, it's still going to take time and patience. And I just walk people through it and let them know and show them what they need to do in order to be patient with it. Uh, even when you get one, you have to be patient. I have two that I've been working on for like three or four weeks, but it takes patience. Yeah, it does. Angela, um, I sat in on her class and she did. She and I have put hours and hours into tweaking it to make sure it's simple for you guys mm -hmm. to understand. And like she already said, Angela, anything we do, we try to make it simple for mm -hmm. you because if you don't understand it, we've not accomplished mm -hmm. our our goal. We're not just here. We're notary educators. So we do right. just that. We educate you on whatever mm -hmm. it is that we do, not just trainers. We're actually educators. There's a slight right. difference even with that. We want you yeah. to succeed. And the only way you're going to succeed is if you actually understand the mm -hmm. processes of whatever part of the business you are doing, you must understand it before you can do it. Right. You have no business if you do not know how to stand for paper. You have no business if you don't understand the processes that go into being a good notary. You just don't. Right. So um, Serena wants to come up. So Serena, I hope you're listening. So I put the link in the chat. All you have to do is click that link and then you can come up on the stage with us. She really wanted to come up. So again, click the link that's in the chat. I put it a couple of times for you. So um, see if you can click that link and you can definitely come up, okay? So Angela is doing amazing things. We are so proud of her growing her business. Um, again, as we put you guys first, we win. It's just as simple as that. It's not about us. We put you first, we're gonna win. And we all still work, so. <laughs> I work you today. Um, yes, we work. <laughs> So let's keep going. We got JC says, greetings, ladies. I would like to know if either of you have an affiliate link. She's added a few other notary uh, community links as a source of income. I do not have an affiliate link yet. Let me, I'm doing some research on that, though, because I do have the five courses out. I won't go through all of them because it'll just take us too long. But they're at notary educators. They will help you either begin to grow your business to know how to properly notarize how to grow your business, how to add services like the ink fingerprinting, the I-9. And there's a fifth course. Oh, my newest course. I will talk about that one, y'all. <laughs> general notary, don't be scared. It's not that complicated. So that course will help you to add general notary work to your business. And again, the reason I wrote a course about it is because people still were confused about the documents, common terminology you'll hear out there. So it's a very detailed course, guys. I love it. I'm so proud of it. Everything we do around here, we're proud of, literally, because we we put our heart to it. Yeah. And so, we, give you, we give you everything you need to connect. We don't leave out anything. So you disconnect and you're like, I still don't understand yeah. what I do when I get to this point. We give you all the connecting links so that you will know whatever the process is easily. You don't have to buy something else to understand it. What you get in that course is what you need to fly mm -hmm. and succeed. Mm -hmm. uh, so Michelle says she agrees Peace is everything it is. Michelle says I've turned down long signing Because of the city of it Yeah because of the city If you don't even want to travel to a certain location mm -hmm. You get the right to do that Because it's your business Yep, It's your business So KD says do you mentor So we do Training and educating around here So what does that look like We actually want you to learn What you need to do so most people, when I hear the word mentor and what they refer to in the notary space, especially with mentorship, it's really a lack of training. So we mm -hmm. teach you how to be a good notary and then you can fly on your own. So do we offer mentorship? Mentorship? Yes, we do. Our mentorship mm -hmm. is free. What does that look like? Notary Mentor Mondays, our Facebook group, we mentor in there. We go live in there quite frequently. Um, so yeah, when you ask, do we offer mentorship? Yes, but not in a traditional sense where you're going to pay us $2 per minute to talk to us for the rest of your life. We do not offer that kind of mentorship. We offer education. And that means teaching you how to be a good notary, how to build your business. So that's the difference. So 
Um, to answer the question, yes, we do, but not the traditional way most people are thinking mentorship. Mm -hmm. Again, you don't pay us for the rest of your life. Right. You have to give us your firstborn and all that. <laughs> all right. Um, they said it here is fine. They thank us for all that we're doing. It is our pleasure. Yes, Taisha says, I've been having trouble with videos being accepted to Google. My business platform isn't as friendly as I hoped any other marketing platforms. Taisha, you have to make Google your best friend. There's no way around it. Because Kim has lots of videos. I have a couple, but Kim has lots of videos on her Google page. You didn't have any problems, did you, Kim? No, Taisha. And I'd love for you a message in the Facebook group. I'm not sure if you saw that, but they have to be under 30 seconds. So they have to be really quick, even shorter than TikTok. That just sounds something like, hey, this is Taisha. I'd love to be your notary. We're open today or happy Sunday from Taisha no Mobile Notary. Something quick. It cannot be a long dissertation. Is that the word? When somebody doing like a long speech? Yeah. It cannot be like a speech. It has to be something really quick. Bam, bam. Happy Sunday. We're open. Mm -hmm. You know, something quick. It cannot be long. Le less than 30 seconds. And I have quite a few of those. I actually even have on my own personal page, um, like what is a note, what is a will, what is a notary, what is a mobile notary? I've answered little questions like that really mm -hmm. quick. So oh Frank, thank you, Frank. Oh Frank, my god, uh, Frank is the man. Frank is the man. We always forget <laughs> Frank always remind everybody. Thank you, thank Frank. you, Frank. I forgot. Can you guys please hit the like button? Share, if you're watching like it now button. or on the replay, hit the like button. Frank, we love you. You got our back. Because I got always our back. Uh, every time. I say that every video. And I, you know what? I would be a lot further along in the YouTube space if I did some of the stuff out here that I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to ask you guys to like, subscribe, and share. I never do. Please <laughs> like my video, share my video, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Okay, so Tara says she's in Charlotte. I have a bunch of colleges around. Who should I aim to speak with? So you might go right in the front desk to the front desk of the colleges and just say, hey, um, in case someone needs a proctor or find out what their process is. Maybe talk to the security guard at the front desk or whoever receptionist there would be a good way. But the number one way people will find you again is going to be Google, Google My Business. I I, every time I ask someone, how did you find me? They always say Google. I Googled you. It's going to be Google, guys. I know we don't want to hear it. But, and that's what you hear. I me, I talk about it. Angela talks about it. Alexis talks about it. Other YouTubers talk about it. I'm telling you guys, Google My Business is the way to go. Right. Because people are not really going to go to your website for a notary. They're going to Google notary near me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. They're going to Google notary near me. They're going to put it. I asked the lady, how did she find me? Proctor near me. And she actually called dozens. I don't know if you guys saw the review I put in Facebook. She called dozens of notaries yep. and no one answered. Because I was 45 minutes away from her. So I said, how did you find me? Nobody else would answer. That people was just real talk. And when I end up in Stone Mountain or Lithonia, it's because she said, I called you the third person. I called you with the third in line. And she said, nobody answered the phone. And I don't even live in Lithonia or Stone Mountain, but I go get the money. <laughs> Angela, she's so funny. So Taisha says, does anyone use YouTube okay. for marketing? I actually like posting videos, which I didn't expect. Oh. So Taisha that's funny you should say that so you need to buy my new book i don't know if you guys know i wrote another book about how to start your youtube channel and guess what it's not that complicated either start <laughs> and grow so if you watch my channel and you already have a channel but your channel isn't growing that book is for you if yeah. you want to start a youtube channel and you don't know what to do how to make it successful my book is for you so check out my new book, guys. It's at Notary Educators also. And again, it's how to start and grow your YouTube channel. Yeah. And Taisha, since you're just now also starting your notary business, this would be an excellent time for you to maybe focus. If it's not too much, focus on growing and starting a channel right now while you have something to talk about. And each of you, even if it's not notary work, guys, as you will see in my book, you don't have to be a notary to have a YouTube channel. Your channel could be whatever about whatever you want it to be about. And you don't have to be the best speaker or be the prettiest. And 
I cover all of that in the book, some of my own insecurities about starting my channel. So I highly recommend you buy that book, guys, if you're interested in starting a channel. I'm going to bring Serena up. Hey, Serena. Give hey, us Serena. A give us just a second. I'm going to wrap this up and then you can talk. So, yeah, so get that book, guys, um, how to start your notary, um, your YouTube channel. I always got notary on the brain, your YouTube channel. I give you all the tips and tricks that I use to start and grow my channel. Again, if you already have a channel and it's not growing the way you want it to, then you also want to um, get that book because I give you all I give you everything to grow and have a successful channel. OK, mm -hmm. Alexis also is here. Hey, Alexis. Hi, Alexis was out making that money. I, know I, got done. I was like, they're still on. Let me hop on just for the last little bit. <laughs> yes. And welcome, Serena. Welcome. We have a special Serena. guest tonight. Serena, welcome. We finally got you up here, huh? Yes, finally. Good. So let's talk about your business a little bit. What's going on? Tell us who you are. Well, I actually hear a lot of background noises, so now I can hear it. Early, I didn't hear it until I chimed in. So yes, now I can hear the flow of it. So it is kind of uh, chimed in. I'm in Alabama. I'm in the Madison, Alabama area. I'm a newbie to um, being signed on as a notary. I'm trying to start my business and get my business flowing. I'm encouraged by your um, your energy and your positiveness. I'm in the state of Alabama. So I work a full-time job and then working a full-time job is kind of hard for me right now to uh, get it started because I don't know who and where I'm supposed to go to, but I do know that I want to connect with the realtors out here in Madison. They're building so many new homes. So what I did was I visited a um, construction site. I picked up one of the cards. They had a few realtors. If their picture was posted on it, I got a lot of them that were um, brown people. So I um, made so far two calls to let them know who I was. And then they asked me to send my um, phone number and email address. Right now, I don't have an LLC. I don't have an ENI number. I hear the talking. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, Do you have more than I one device part, on, Serena? Do you have more than one device on? I might have. I think that's what it is. Hold See, on one second. Let me take this off. You're pretty good, but yeah, cut off one of your devices. We can hear you, though. Yeah. Now that's better. Yes. Ooh. Okay, yes, much better. So um, I am also social for Legal Shield. So I sell Legal Shield. In the package with Legal Shield, they will help you um, get your E- IN number as well as an LLC. When I got my notary license, I went to my insurance uh, company, which was State Farm. Had the paper signed, went strictly to the courthouse. Bam, I'm a notary. So I, I'm licensed as a notary, but I need more information. I'm an information person. So with that being said, I have read a few of the notices where they say what to charge, $2, $10, but I'm hearing you guys say there is more to signing than you know what I'm seeing. So I know there's a difference between an, uh, a signing agent and a notary agent. And I want to become a signing agent even though I have my notary license. Correct. The questions I have is, um, I noticed on the job, there's two ladies. I work for Huntsville, I work for Psyops Health, but I work for Huntsville Hospital, which is really major out here. The one young lady who is a woman, she is a size employee like myself. She's a notary. Then the director, assistant director, is a notary for Huntsville. She didn't know that I was a notary. So, and I didn't let her know at the time because it seems like it was some clashing. So I didn't bring it up. So um, I do know that they will, most companies will pay you for your signing. But that depends on them paying me if those two are not there. So I didn't jump forward that because that was established before I got there. So I left it alone. So I'm trying to, which I thought was the best way to do was to go out and seek realtors. What I'm hearing right now is to get signed up on Google. What so is it? I'm going to say this real quick, Serena. The first thing you need to know about Alabama is that Alabama is an attorney state. Right. And so 
you can still make money as a signing agent, but you can't do closings and uh, refinances without an attorney. And I just right. said that only because you were like targeting realtors. And targeting what? I only said that because you were going to realtors and also to builders. Right. And that's where I, that's why, that's why when I came on, I'm thinking, well, where, that's why I kept asking, well, where do I start? I'm in the state of, I'm in Madison, Alabama. Where should I start? So go ahead, Jimmy. Okay. No, so, so I was going to say, let's, let's wrap this all up for you really quick. So I, I'm going to do like an intake call with you. Like we do with most people. This is what an intake call sounds like for people that, that have never had one with us. So Thank Ms. You. Serena, how comfortable are you, first of all, with performing your notorial duties? Acknowledgements, directs, administering an oath. How comfortable are you, first of all, with that step? Well, I wrote, I haven't finished writing down the oath that you had written on, on the website. So I'm not comfortable with that yet. Okay. So let's, first of all, before we do anything with growing the business, I'm going to recommend you have some training. Okay. Okay. So what training That's looks like with us is one of two ways. We have the self-paced course, which is online, also on sale right now. It's called Notarize Like a Pro. In that course, I actually teach you how to notarize documents. All of your documents are not going to come from the state of Alabama. You are right. a notary for the state of Alabama, but your documents are going to come from all over the world, mm -hmm. right? So that's our first step is to get some proper training. Then my next question is normally something like this. What would you like to do with your business? So you've already mentioned notary signing agent. Are you also interested in doing the general notary part of the business? I would like to learn what that is, yes. So I highly recommend for people to have a successful, fully rounded business that they know how to do general notary work as well as loan signing. And what does that look like? That means the general public will call you for documents and then you also will get your credentialing through the National Notary Association, which is a smaller package. It's like, I don't know how much Alabama is, um, it's the, um two something or something like that. I've seen it. It's, they have three classes. The basis though. is how much is the basic class. I'm gonna let Angela the, or Alexis look it up for us for Alabama. How much is the basic? The class? basic was uh, sixty nine dollars. I think it is. So that's what I'm we looking. recommend. I recommend. Okay. So your next step would be after you do your basic general notary training. Um, uh, would be to be commissioned or receive your certification through the NNA for sixty nine dollars. And then you can double back and take our loan signing agent class. And then between those classes that we've talked about, you have more than enough knowledge and okay. information to start and build your notary business, your general, as well as your notary signing. Because we're going to go over who to sign up with, how to sign up, how to do a signing from beginning to end. Even though you're in attorney state, as Angela mentioned, you can still make money. So okay. that's what our training overall looks like. Additionally, okay. after we've done all these steps, your next step would be to add the apostille service, add how to complete the I-9, add ink fingerprinting. So you're growing a business just like you're growing a plant. Mm -hmm. So what we recommend is you do the general notary, take at least 30 days. Let's kind of build that out. Then we're going to double back around and go to the NNA, get that little certification, and then take our loan signing course. So between everything, you're looking at about at least a three-month process. Okay. Because we believe in slow-cooked meals over here, not microwave. <laughs> yeah. I'll do microwave meal. Okay. So we're not gonna we're not gonna promise you you're gonna do all of this stuff in one month. It's never gonna yeah, happen. No. Mm -hmm. it's not we gotta we gotta get your google page set we gotta yeah. show you how to market show you how mm -hmm. to price your services so all of this is steps but it doesn't take 10 years either right i know okay so it, it just does not now by you working full time is it gonna take you maybe a little bit longer mm -hmm. maybe, but you have your weekends that you can really maximize and maybe your evenings i don't know your life right you i do that's pretty much it the weekends and evenings and then right now I'm like I'm gonna put in for a week off, so I'm, I may be able to do some things on them. But even though I need a vacation, but <laughs> I really right. do. Right. And as you start growing your own business, because that's mm -hmm. what it's funny you said that. My husband asked me the other day. He said, "Do you enjoy what you do?" Yeah. And I said, "I love what I do. I loved my hospital job, as I already stated. I loved yeah, that. Mm -hmm. But imagine how much more do I love working for myself and yep. being at peace I to help people, two for one. You know." Mm -hmm. 
So, so that's what I would recommend for you. So we've had a conversation here tonight, but again, I would highly recommend we could do something a little more private with the fill out a contact card over at Notary Educators okay. and give us your phone number and we'll give you a call and we'll have a little bit more private conversation. But for anyone else that's watching, that's what an intake call sounds like with us. First of all, we need to know what kind of training, what do you want to do with the business? Where are you headed? So we don't just start selling you stuff because I don't know what you need. It's like you right. go to a doctor's office and he don't have a, you know how you hate to fill out that form at the doctor's office, the intake form? But you have to. Yeah. But you have to, or he's not going to know what's wrong with you. All right. You come so with a diagnosis or we need selling. a prognosis. Mm -hmm. We need a prognosis. Right. So we don't just start selling courses over here. We need to know who you are. What do you want to do? So based on what we talked about, even in short period of time, Again, I think we've kind of mapped out a few things for you. I hope that you've had a little clarity, and I'm so glad you came on. So did you get a little clarity from our conversation? I did because um, hearing this, 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 and this, and then I'm, I'm trying to stay focused on, like, well, what do I do? I'm a, and I announced that I'm a newbie. I'm, I'm where I'm at and what I need to do. Do I do this? But then, you know, there's other questions in between. So that's why Kim's saying, I want to chime in just for a minute and wake me it all out and be done. I'm so glad that you did, Ms. Serena. Well, it has, it's been our pleasure. Just fill out the contact card, and one of us will call you in the next couple of days, and we'll get okay. you really straightened out, okay? That's fine. That's good. Thank you for joining us this evening. Yes. You Thank you pleasure. so much. Nice to see you all. You all too. right. Take care. All right. All right. So, Alexis, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Thank Alexis. You. Well, let's finish these last few questions, guys, because we do have a few of y'all don't mind. I know we're already over, but um, let's see. Can we hit these questions really quick? Alexis, you want to read it? You feel like it? You tired? How are you feeling over there? Where are we at? Where y'all leave off at? We're we are at 8, 20, 20, 20, yeah. No, actually, we did that, Angela. We are on 829. Like 829, Cynthia? Yeah, 829. All 8, sides, 20, I just said 25. Sorry. I know I'm a little nasally. 829 here, right? Yes, just greetings from California. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so next question is Diane Forbes, right? Yes, we kind of just went over that, Diane. So we'll have you yeah, fill out a contact just... card to, yeah. Yeah. How to become Let's a signing agent. Cynthia, how are you guys? Yes, welcome. Okay, so everybody. Serena D at 830 says, how are you collecting um cash app cash check did y'all talk about that no mm -mm. okay so me personally um i keep it simple i just do square or cash that's just me um that's yeah that's just me so you don't do cash app or zale or any of that no so... i have my read but oh no uh, it's okay no 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 it's okay no, i was just curious simplest ones for me so since that's what uh lexus takes i'll tell you what i take right quick because i do take everything i do take zale i don't do paypal i guess i could i just don't but i do zale cash app um somebody in the facebook group actually made a nice post today that they were anti-cash app because they hear all these youtubers and people say oh that's not professional to take cash app what's not professional about getting my money right yeah i don't i don't do cash I don't app, that. that's not why I, yeah that's not yeah. why me either but but i take cash app zale square debit credit i don't take i do check checks only from seniors if it's dealing with a trust um most of the time i don't even want to check from seniors but when they're dealing with a trust account trust packages then they will want to pay with a check um yeah, I I, happen yet, but i always yeah think Say about I will I will take a check from a trust. Um, Angela, did you want to say something about what payments you take? I do Square, Zelle, Cash, and I only take checks from seniors. Whether it's from a trust or not, I'll take check from seniors, like really yeah. old people. Yeah, I, I will. They, when I get um, there and they pulling out their little checkbook and asking me, I'm like, I can't say I don't take checks. I just take the checks from old people. Yeah, they they will usually ask you, what do you prefer? And I'll say, well, I prefer debit or credit. And if they just, like Angela said, kind of push back. Um, we skipped Marcel. She said she got her first tip today. The lady came Yay, to her Marcel. and she was so excited. So I think that was a win worth sharing. Okay, Alexis, we are back on you. All right. Uh, Taisha, I hope I'm saying it right. Yeah. I always read reviews. Um, 
Serena was talking about some colleges you all were talking about. Uh, Serena also asked, how can I chime in? I don't know if y'all remember. We did. That's what we were just talking to. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Um, oh, okay, Michelle knits for you. That happened to me today. They didn't want to pay the travel fee. Said they can drive. That was too much to get a paper notarized. Oh, well. Right. Oh, Michelle. well. Oh, well. Some will be for you. Some people won't. Yeah. Um, then Serena was just saying, I work a full time, hard to market. We we did all the Serena questions. Yeah, that's that's all Serena yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, JC Majestic Journey, I do that as well. If they complain about the price, then I offer other alternatives for them. I always try to help. That's I, right. love I, I was just talking about that on Facebook Live a little bit when people complain about the price. Um, it depends. Like, if I'm trying to meet my quota, I'll go ahead and you know help them out. If I feel like I don't know, some some situations you could feel it's a strain there or something deeper going on. Um, I have a heart, I always. You know, try to help people out. Yeah, I don't want to skip these ones that mention peace of mind because we were having a deep conversation about that. Go so on. as we, um, as Trina Flavor and Jermaine is saying, preach, operate with integrity, and peace of mind is priceless. So everyone's in agreement with that. Yeah. Because why don't have your own business if you can't be have peace? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Terry the notary said, "Tell them bye. Good luck." <laughs> <laughs> All um, right, what else we got going on? Michelle says, Wow, you have a lot of your plate. plate. Trinity Flavor Creations. This is Juju. Yep, if they are a problem, when you give them the price, they will be a problem in person all day, every day. Yep. I got something to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is just a little funny thing, and she going to know it's fun. Juju, we can't even keep up with you, girl. <laughs> we cannot keep up with you with all these names. <laughs> but thanks for, got thanks for telling us who you are because we love you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Terry, the pub, notary public and NSA. I wasn't afraid. I did this part time until I could quit. That last week as an employee was sweet too. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Congrats, it Terry. I'm glad you were able to do it. Congrats. Uh, and then uh, Diane Forbes, I'm assuming. We hit different. Yeah, um, Diane Forbes said, "Please let me join the crew." Yeah, um, don't forget, Diane. Just fill out the contact us card. We're gonna get in touch with you. Okay, next couple of days. It'll probably be the same day. Actually, we we roll pretty quick over here. Uh, Cynthia, Cynthia Baltazar, uh, that's such a great story. I'm scared to leave. Yes, I'm doing notary all day at my job, and I'm like, I could be making some money on my own. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it took me. I was forced to leave. I wasn't about to leave my job. <laughs> um, yeah. So just take your time, though. We don't encourage people just quitting jobs over here. Please don't. We we'll never hear none of us say, "Girl, yeah, quit yeah. your job." No. Mm-hmm. Only you can we gonna work that. into it. Yeah, we're gonna work into it. We're gonna baby step it. We might quit, but it's not gonna be tomorrow. For real. Because you saw a YouTube video or you met or talked to us. That's not going to never happen over here. We believe right. in work. Whatever, however you got to get yep. you. Yep. Yeah, take your time. Take your time. Nubian, hey, Nubian. Uh, Nubian I am. Uh-huh. Hey, ladies. Kimmy, I just finished reading your book. And I'm I'm so appreciative of your passion for what to share. Potent information to be a successful notary for either free or very affordable. Thank you. Well, it's our pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate you all, too. We really do. And we do have everything pretty reasonable. We were talking about that earlier, and we often get the question, how y'all make money over there? <laughs> well, well, we, we do work. Also. Away free. Yeah, y'all give everything away for free. Well, we do work in addition to providing mm-hmm. education. Again, and when you think about most educators, like for real, for real, even in the school system, they don't make a lot of money, so you have to be passionate about what you're doing. But I was about to know? say, I love my notary business. I mean, I'm out every day. And when someone calls me, I'm like, yep, when can you come? Yep, 5.30. Are you close? You can come. Come on. You know, I love, I meet so many different people. It's I love my notary business. Yeah, I do too. So it's not just work. As I stated earlier, um, my husband just asked me, he said, do you enjoy what you do? And I was like, I love what I do. So Next. Uh, Jermaine was just talking to Cynthia. Jermaine said, at Cynthia, everyone's story and timeline is different. And you can take notary jobs after hours until you feel comfortable mm-hmm. leaving your job off together. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly how I was doing it before I did leave my full-time yes, job. Yes, she was. Alexis was doing I that was for work. Working it out. 
lunch break, after work, sometimes even before work. I had some people who um, I had to be in at eight o'clock. They would it would be like seven thirty or seven because I I was right down the street from my job at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, JC Majestic Journey says I love doing iPod steals. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michelle knits for you. I have to check again. Don't think New Jersey allows it. Uh, Diane Forbes says when is the next class? Check um, Notary Educators for the August class schedule. It's out. The August class schedule is out, guys. So notaryeducatorsllc.com. And we have um, two Notary Basic classes scheduled live. And then we have one long signing. And then Angela also has her new apostille training over on the website, guys. Yes, sir. You still have some slots available for tomorrow, Angela? A couple. How many? I can't remember whether it's three. I think three. Angela does have slots if you're watching this today for her Saturday evening class, which is tomorrow. Okay. So you can reach out to her at Notary Educators LLC. Also, there's a Angela has her own blocks over there for apostille. So either one of them will reach her directly. Okay. If you're interested in apostille training. And then Alexis and I are doing the notary class basics as well as the long signing for the month of August. Okay. Uh, next. All right, Jermaine. Where are we at? 846. Okay. That's it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cindy was just saying thanks for the encouragement. Back to Jermaine. Um, so we oh, Cindy said so she took the class. It was helpful. Yay. <clears throat> Uh, let's get Miss Cece. I think. Uh, yeah, Miss Cece Clark. Hold on. Miss Cece Clark says, "Hi, ladies. I just uh, got a purple specialty journal." Yeah, I got mine right here. Thank you. I appreciate it. And for those who don't know, um, that is the specialty journal for your I nines, apostilles, anything um that's not non notorial work that would go in that journal. So, Miss Cece, I like purple, too, as you can see. Yes. And Angela's <laughs> journal is so neat. I'm just like, oh, my goodness. She writes my stuff be all over the place. I can't help it. Her stuff is so neat. Okay, Angela. <laughs> oh, Alexis, sorry. <laughs> uh, did y'all talk to, to Serena what is the best journal to buy or does it matter? Uh, we'll talk to we'll talk to Serena um, when we have our chat with her. Yeah. But we use an um, integrity journal. Which is my my notorial journals for the um, integrity journal, and then for my specialty work is a specialty journal. All right, Nubian and I am says these ladies are the true. Thank we you. Try. Oh, thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, Debbie Brown says Google my business won't accept my address. Debbie, reach out to Google. Anything going on with Google, reach out to Google. Um, Google yeah. Finicky about what they accept, what they don't accept. Yeah, they're getting kind of, they wasn't that finicky like two years ago, a year and a half ago. They weren't at all. I don't know what's been going on lately. They but will um they will answer you though. You just have to be will. very patient. It takes about just already plan when you get ready to call Google, they're gonna give you like a code, a call back or something. It's a whole it's a whole process. process. But it, it takes about an hour, but they will call you back because I, I actually got blocked before. And it's a frightening <laughs> thing when your business, because you guys know how we talk about I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Too. My page got suspended, guys. I was having like a hot flash and nervous breakdown over here. I said, <laughs> Oh my God, my page is blocked. And I'm going to tell y'all why it got blocked. And don't be sending me no hate mail and say, Kim, that was stupid or whatever. Because I already know it. Jeffrey already got on me about it. I love smiley faces, if you guys don't know. I put either a flower or a smiley face on everything, right? So in my Google page, I was sitting there one night. Obviously, I had nothing else to do, right? My page was up and running and everything. And I sat there and I put a smiley face in one of the um address lines or one of the lines and it rejected that thing so fast and make your head spin it blocked it suspended it and i was like oh my god oh my god what yeah, am i doing what freaking I out i was freaking out because that's my money maker and when i told jeff what i did he was like you know, why did you do that why and i said i don't know i don't know i don't know i felt so stupid i was calling angela i was having a fit i was telling was everybody my google page is blocked 
Needless to say, I don't play around with Google. They do not like any kind of special characters, no smiley faces, no and sign, no asterisk, nothing fancy, guys. They will block you so fast, you will your head will go up. Boom. So nothing <laughs> fancy. All right. Okay. Terry, the notary public says, I enjoy carrying my state notary seal. I'm aware of its importance in society. Yep. Yes. Be a proud notary. What, what? Taisha <laughs> says, I've been doing under 30 seconds, but I'll keep trying. I saw on Facebook, a few people are having trouble with it. Maybe it's Google. Yeah, and maybe it's Google. It might be a problem with Google because actually my Google voice was not working. And I remembered in the Facebook group, there was some comment about that the other day. So Your today, voice? all day, my Google voice did not work. Oh. Yeah. And I don't like calling from my regular number, but I had to use the phone. So right. <laughs> I had to use my regular number, but I miss my Google number. When you don't have something, you don't realize you don't, you don't, you know, to the right. gone. All right, next. We're almost done, guys. We're going to get to yeah. these last few comments. Uh, Serena was just saying some stuff. She tried to keep her... I mean, not Serena. I'm sorry. Michelle. Michelle was just saying some stuff. Um, she tried to keep Google Business updated. Uh, she used to be number one in search. She has to change that. Uh, Kimberly, good evening from Hollywood, Florida. Hey! And then Terry said, I like to carry, I like to carry myself everywhere I go. Even when I'm not notarized and don't know, I just like carrying it. I carry mine everywhere I go to because if I get a call, I don't have to come home and get it. I go straight. Yep. That's me. Every time I leave yes. out, I um, Diane says, where is Long Sonic class? Just check notaryeducatorsllc.com, our website, um, for the next one. August 14th, I believe. That's the next one. Um, JC Majestic Journey. I really appreciate you, ladies. You have taught me so much and have truly boosted my confidence and has helped me level up my level up on my notary business. Yes. I, agree. I now truly love what I do. Yep. I yes. Love what I do. Yes. And sometimes that loving what you do comes from knowing what to do. And how to do it. Yep. <laughs> and how to do it. Once you know how to build your business yep. and how to be a good notary, the love will come because you're going to be helping people and making money. I hate when yep. I hear people say, you shouldn't be making money as a notary. You're a public servant. Well, public servants get paid. They get paid pretty well, right? And bills. So you pay the bills. You well, not only that. I mean, we're coming to people. We're driving out. We're navigating hospitals. We're. I mean, it's not like it's just us. It's literally just us stamping the paper. It goes a right. lot more into that. So I don't understand that comment. Like that's kind of crazy. Yeah, right? I, I have heard that though. Notary shouldn't yeah. be making money. Shouldn't be yeah. charging traveling fees. Right. And, my my car don't move for free. Don't nobody yeah, ask you. Like, oh, All right, digress. They digress. They digress. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um. Okay. Michelle was just saying she does it all: cash up, Dell, cash, credit card, debit card, Square. Uh, I have accepted checks only from one client. Um, Kim. Somebody asked this in Facebook too. Kim, will you ever do a video on field inspections? Yeah, I know. I got a video on field inspections. I, I got one. On got one. I have one on field inspections. It's called um, it's called either night inspection or field inspection, but you'll see it on my thing. It's it's inspection. Type in the word inspection on the um, YouTube channel, and it will populate. Um, I might just add it to Facebook too, but I do have one on um, field inspection already. And then it's a next cool video. Mm -hmm. uh, the Kai Melly brand with one-on-one -on -one sessions. Do you choose who you want to work with, or are you assigned someone randomly? Oh, with the one-on-ones, um, yeah. randomly. Yeah, because it kind of depends on our schedule. Yeah, who who has the availability? So, um, you can just let us know, Kai, your availability, and you can let us know who you'd like to work with. We'll see. Can we make that happen for you? Um, yep. But normally, it's just kind of who is available. But yeah, just let us know, and uh, we'll work around what you need. Okay. Next. And uh, just. Diane and Michelle saying good night. Thank you. Uh, we got Sheena. everybody's question. Yay! No, is that no, it? No, Sheila. Sheila oh, Williams says, course. "Do you offer in-person training for fingerprints in the I nine form?" You know, I did do that, Sheila, for the um, 
um, I-9 form and the fingerprinting. We offered one live class. It did not go over as well the first time. Mm -hmm. So that's why I decided to record the courses. And they are very, very, very informative. They are just, yes. it's like you and I sitting in the room. Mm -hmm. All of the uh, recorded courses are like you and I sitting in the room. I actually show you how to roll, how to fill out the card correctly to avoid rejections. With the I-9 right. form, I mm -hmm. show you more than one way to fill it out. Mm -hmm. Most um, videos on YouTube only show you one way to fill it out. There's mm -hmm. more than one way. So, um, yes, Michelle says she got a briefcase in her trunk. So I teach you how to prepare for fingerprinting and how to do the I-9. So those courses are very detailed. And everything is on sale right now, half price today. Mm -hmm. As of the recording of yeah. this video, everything is half price. At Notary Educators, LLC.com, you will find all of our information. Next. Um, Kimberly, so you said the briefcase was up. Kimberly says, I took my exam last week and mailed my application on Monday. Can I join the Facebook group? Yes, of course. So please join our Facebook group. Um, just look up Notary Educators on Facebook. It's the yellow icon with our pictures on there. Make sure you answer all the questions completely. Um, and you accept the group rules and everything. And we'll fool you. Pretty quick about who you. And we had one more that we skipped. That was Kai Metley. She said, I also wanted to say that she filled out the contact us form on the website. And Angela called her very quickly, answered her questions. And she appreciated that Angela is a straight shooter. I think I that's what we all appreciate about Angela. Um, straight up. You ain't got to wonder what she's saying. I think she said, you ever talk to somebody and you'd be like, I think they said, or I'm the kind of person I go back and say, hey, Jeff. Such and such said this to me. What do you, think they <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do they yeah. mean by that? I could be kind of slow sometimes, right? And mm -hmm. I'm not looking for people to maybe to be mean or, you know, whatever. And I'm right. like, what do you think they meant? So you know what she means. She means what she says, okay? And she gives like her money. Like me. <laughs> so it's been our pleasure, people. As always, we thank you guys for hanging out with us on a Friday night. We hope yes, we taught you some things. It's been our pleasure. Check us out at Notary Educators LLC for all things related to notary education. Yep. I'm gonna let Angela and Alexis say bye. And for now I am Kimmy. Bye. Hi, you guys. So enjoy the rest of your evening. What's left? Thank you for joining us tonight on this little impromptu chit chat. We love we really love you guys. So thank you so much for your support and have a good evening. Yeah, and have a good weekend, guys. And we will see you all on Monday. Thank you again for listening to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. We would love to be a part of your notary journey. Please visit us at notaryeducatorsllc.com for all of your notary training needs. Also, please feel free to join the Notary Life with Kimmy YouTube channel, where Kimmy has over 400 videos that will help you to grow and build a successful notary business. Until the next episode, we wish you much success on your journey. Bye.